a magnificent and exceedingly rare Huang Huali folding armchair. And it can start here with several telephones at seven million, seven million, five hundred thousand, eight million dollars already bid on my book. Nine million, nine million with Nico, she has it for nine. Nine million, five hundred thousand with Tim now. 10 million, thank you, Julia. Back to Tim now, 11 million, 12 million with Sam now. 13 million bidders online. 1,400,000 Yun Han joins us now. 15 million, Chi Fan joins us now at 15. 16 million with Tim now. 42 million. Julia, very sure. 45 million, thank you for coming back. 48 million, thank you, Chi Fan. 50 million, 55. It's yours, Chifan, at 55. Ahead of all the other telephone and ahead of you online, 5,500. For you, Chifan, 55 million. Well done, A067. Wow, th do you believe that this chair was sold for 55 million Hong Kong dollars? About 7 million US dollars. I think I've seen a similar pair of chairs to this one in the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Look, I still have a picture of it. These round back armchairs were made in the Ming Dynasty. They are made out of a really rare wood that is near extinction. It is called Huang Hua Li. Huang Hua Li has three different points to its beauty. The first one is color. Huang Hua Li has a golden yellow to reddish brown color. Originally, the wood was only known as Hua Li. Huang Yellow was added to describe the surface of old Hua Li wood that has mellowed over years of exposure to light. The second point is scent. Huang Hua Li has a sweet fragrance that distinguishes this wood from Hong Wu, a similar looking but pungent smelling wood. The third point is grain. Fine examples of this wood have patterns of grain. It can form abstract or even figural patterns. These pair of chairs are a gift from David Stockwell in 1955 to the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Melissa, I'm going to ask you, do you know what the difference between the chair and the chair and the chair and the chair and the chair? I spotted two differences. The first one is that the, the one on the auction can fold, but the, one, the pair in the museum can't fold. The other one is that these, the pair of chairs in the museum are made in the Ming Dynasty, but the chair in the auction was made in the Qing Dynasty. So the pair in the museum are older. Good observation. Actually, this chair 王公贵族出游的时候他们会随身携带一把交易以彰显他们在他们的身份地位现在纯氏的交易一共只有三十多把了拍卖会上那把是唯一一把可以在公开市面上有交易记录的中国有一句古话古语叫做头把交易它的意